Squiz Kids acknowledges the traditional owners of the lands on which we podcast, the Turrbal and Combermary people. Squiz Kids! It's your daily news fix. Fun, free, fresh. Hello, fabulous Squiz Kids listeners, and welcome to the Kids vs. Adults Weekly News Squiz. Your chance to see who's had their listening ears on and been paying the most attention to the week that just was. I'm Bryce Corbett. All week in the Squiz Kids Today podcast, we've been bringing you the big news stories of the day, run through our kid-friendly filter to make sure you know all you need to know about the world around you. Now it's time to test how much of the week's news you've retained. And in the process, see who's smarter, kids or adults. Plus, of course, because it's a Friday, we've got all today's birthday shout-outs and all the shout-outs for the weekend ahead. Including, of course, the birthday reggae tune. Because it wouldn't be a Friday without it. So, here's how the quiz works. Five questions for the kids about the weekend news, then five questions for adults. Whoever answers the most correct questions wins. Easy. You ready? Let's do this. All right, kids, here are your five questions. Question number one. The red carpet is being rolled out in Australia today in preparation for the arrival of which two special guests? Flying in all the way from their home in Buckingham Palace in London. That's right, it's King Charles and Queen Camilla. Question number two. The Socceroos had a one-all draw in their World Cup qualifier this week against which country? Famous for its fast trains and sushi. Yeah, that's right, it was Japan. Question number three. We heard in the podcast this week how marathon runner Ned Brockman had raised over $2 million for a homeless charity by running what distance non-stop over a period of 12 and a half days? Did he run A, 50 metres, B, 200 kilometres, or C, 1,000 miles. That's right, he ran 1,000 miles. Can you even imagine? Question number four. We heard in the podcast this week also how a rocket took off headed for a moon that orbits the largest planet in our solar system. Which planet am I talking about? Well done if you said Jupiter. Question number five. We heard in the pod this week how Aussies from Tasmania to the Gold Coast were treated to the rare spectacle of the Aurora Australis. Where would you have to look to see this rare natural light show? Would you look A, into the night sky, B, into the ocean, or C, into the inside of a soft drink can? Yeah, that's right. It's A, into the night sky. How did you go, kids? How many did you get right out of five? And do you think that's going to be enough to beat the adults? I'm hoping so. All right, adults, now it's your turn. Let's fire up the old grey matter. Here we go. Question number one. The world of TV journalism mourned the loss of which former 60 Minutes reporter? renowned for his impressive moustache. That's right, it was George Negus. Question number two. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese flexed his real estate muscle this week, purchasing a property in a New South Wales central coast town, which shares its name with a classic Barry Manilow song about a showgirl called Lola. Well done if you said Copacabana. Question number three. In which state did early voting kick off this week for an election which will take place there on Saturday, October 26? Yep, that's right. It's the Sunshine State, Queensland. Question number four. Name Australia's T20 Women's World Cup cricket captain who's been under a bit of an injury cloud this week as her team battles to defend their world championship in the United Arab Emirates. 
Yeah, of course, it's Alyssa Healy. Question number five. Which stage musical, based on a Disney animated movie and set on the Savannah, celebrated its 27th birthday this week and is the highest grossing production of all time in both theatre and film? Well done if you said The Lion King. How did you go, adults? How many did you get right? Did you beat the kids? Who has won bragging rights this week? Now, if you've missed any of these cool news stories throughout the week and you want to refresh your memory, all of this week's Squiz Kids episodes are available for a re-listen wherever you get your podcasts. That's the end of the quiz, which means it's now time for... Shout outs. It's Friday, October 18. Today is high school musical star Zac Efron's birthday. So, get your head in the game. Get your, get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. It's also a special day today for these Squiz Kids celebrating a birthday today and over the coming weekend. And because it's a Friday, let's crack out the old birthday reggae tune. Hit it! And it's a happy birthday today to Tex and Manreet from Cannon Hill, Aidan from Hamilton South, Anita from Ivanhoe, Connie and Victoria from Mount Gravatt, Amber from Point Cook, Amanda from Sydney, Zavanna from Cape Jarvis, Gus from Ainsley, Charlie from Forestville, Brooklyn from Epping, Mutib and Ellie from Vermont South, Dylan from Castle Hill, Darcy from Roselle, Thomas from Davidson, Caleb from Kilsith, Molly from Rochdale and Claire from Redhead. Well, that's all we have time for. I hope you're enjoying these quizzes. Don't forget there'll be a new one dropping first thing every Friday morning. And the best bit, they're absolutely free. Just as our other excellent content is free too. We're talking to Squiz Kids Today news podcast on Mondays, Wednesdays and Thursdays, a Squiz Kids shortcut or a Squiz the World every Tuesday. And for all the teachers out there, there's the Classroom Companion our teacher-produced classroom activity sheets, curriculum aligned and tied to the Daily Pod on Mondays, and whose entire back catalogue is now searchable via our website. Genius. Check it all out at squizkids.com.au or simply subscribe to Squiz Kids in your favourite podcasting app and all this audio content will magically appear. For now, this is Bryce Corbett signing off and reminding you all to get out there and have the most excellent day. Over and out.